Hello again and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're still in Cascadia. We're still traveling with Ellie and Nyoka. And there's still more exploring for us to do here. We need to go over there and get that sweetheart cake for Parvati. So I guess that means that there are still parts of Cascadia that we haven't explored yet. So uh, let's get to exploring. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I said I didn't remember how I ended up here. And... Um, I'm still not sure how I ended up here. Because we didn't come in through this door. We can't get through this door. This door, we can't get through that. We're not that good of a hacker. So, how did we get in here? Uh, actually, you know what? I think I know now. I think... Oh, there's a dude over there. I think... Did we come from this way? I think we came from this way. I think over here... There is a hole in the wall, and we came in through this hole. Yeah, right over there. Okay, so that's how we came in here. But as we just saw, there's still marauders walking around in here, so we're not done ridding this place of their nastiness just, just yet. But yeah, I still don't remember 100% everywhere I've been and... Everywhere I haven't been. I mean, have I walked up there? I think so. I think this is where uh, we had a big fight. Yeah. The bodies are gone now, but yeah, I remember this. Well, that body's still over there. Okay, so we must have walked down here and turned left instead of going straight. Marauder Vandal over there. Say goodbye. <laughs> Caught him on fire. <laughs> that sounded painful. Didn't sound like you'd like that very much. Bottling plant sign. We've already been in the bottling plant. We entered it from the back over there. Right around here is where we entered it. Oh, there's a ladder there. Ooh, and there's a door up there that maybe we could try to get through. I don't know if we can or not. We're going to try it. Oh, there's a terminal over there. Interesting. But yeah, we, um, we've been in here. We entered through that door right there. I don't know if there's going to be more marauders around here, but I'm still crouching around just to be on the safe side. Here's a door here that uh, is sealed. What is up with that? Look at the map. We are here, and this is how you get to the bridge that would take you between these two parts of Cascadia. Well, Rizzo's candy has been scientifically proven to not give cavities. Five out of five Rizzo company doctors agree, based on the average lifespan of colonists. Due to emergency precautions, the Rizzo bridge to success has been sealed. For your safety and the safety of others, all access is closed until further notice. What's up with that? Huh. Let's climb up to the top of this building. See what's up. Can we get in here? Oh. Um. That's interesting. How do I have a... Pick, a lock pick of 54. I think it's, uh, <laughs> look how this guy's just sitting here. Uh, I think it's because of a uh, perk I picked up recently. Uh, if I go to my character screen and I look at my perks recently, I think maybe I picked up, um, armor master. Maybe, maybe see, it gives us an extra skill bonus. So maybe that's what's up. Now my lockpick is at 54. Oh, well, maybe maybe that's just simply from uh, leveling up last time. That's probably all that is. But anyway, uh, I have a helmet I could put on, which will allow me to pretty much get in almost everywhere I need to go, but not quite, as we saw. Ooh, there are more enemies in that direction. Uh, anyway, we saw that we can't get through that door over there because that one requires 100 lockpick, and um, we don't have that. Hmm. I'm wondering if I came out that door. Huh, and if I didn't, how did I miss it? There's a ladder there. 
That makes me think that I did not come out that door. Because I would have climbed up that ladder and I don't remember doing that. Very interesting. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to jump on that. Oh, excuse, excuse me, Ellie. <laughs> this went right through Ellie. Oh, dog on it. I'm pressing the space bar to jump, but I'm not jumping. It's uh, pretty annoying. I'm, th I'm thinking maybe if I jump on that, maybe I can get up and get on that balcony. Let's try this. Oh, oh, there's something over my head there. That's probably what's keeping me from jumping. Yeah, sure enough it is. All right. Well, we'll just have to try to remember to get back over there. You make it look so easy. It, it is, actually. It's pretty easy. Put our good helmet back on. Let's see what's going on in here. Ooh, another dead resident. Well, they're not going to be needing that or these, so uh, let's take them. A ring, a model spaceship. I hate empty bins. Oh, they make me sad. What's with all the empty bins? What the hell, man? Here is a purple berry launch. What the heck is a purple berry launch? That's new, right? Purple berry launch. Huh. Okay, it does burn, uses energy weapons and it does burn is there anything in this colony not made with purple berries huh interesting it's worth a whole lot i don't know if this is something i'm going to hang on to but um let's uh jam it in our our mitts maybe we'll try it out holy cow this is it man maybe we'll try it out let me see enemies, but I want to go back over there first. Oops, oh well. Oh, look at this, I almost missed this box of Purple Berry Crunch. That would have just been tragic had I missed that. Oh, 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 oh. I made it, okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get over there from here. Wow, I can jump far. Uh, I think I just simply missed this door in this bin because uh, we definitely came up here, remember? We came up here and I went this way <laughs> and totally, totally neglected that way. Wow, that is crazy. Look at this, I missed this locker too. What the hell, man? Sheesh. Slacking over here. Sell this junk. Don't think I have any weapons I want to sell. And yeah, we'll hang on to this stuff for now. Okay. Well, the cool thing about this is uh, we could climb up on top of this building. That might be fun. I like climbing up on top of things. Ooh. We might actually be able to get to the bridge from here, too. Hmm. Pretty sure we can. But I'm not ready for the bridge yet. Hey, give me a boost, Ellie, will you? Hey, Ellie, Ellie, do that thing with your hands. Like, like make a little... Like a little stirrup for me to put my foot in so I could jump up here, okay? Okay, you, you understand? No, no, not like that. No, look, look, look. Okay, come, uh, uh. All right, she's not gonna help me. Oh yeah, there's a ladder right there. Okay, not ready for that yet because there's still more to explore here. This is probably gonna hurt, but we'll be all right. Oh no, it didn't hurt. Um, This was a dead end, wasn't it? There's no, oh, look at that, there's some ammo up here. Look at that, that's some pretty well hidden ammo. <laughs> Gosh, is there like things up on top of there that I'm missing? Yeah, this is a dead end. That's a shame. Oh. Something on your mind? No, actually, I just want to get past you so I can, uh, you know, get on the ladder. Okay. We know this baddie is in this direction. We saw him just a moment ago on our... There they are. See? Oh, three at least. They're guarding the uh, sweetheart cake. Must be some pretty valuable cake there. Let's, uh, let's use this new weapon we just got. We've discovered a vending machine. Oh, 
I don't even think I hit him. Cool. Oh, that was neat. Oh, that was kind of fun. Probably overkill, but that was pretty neat. What was that symbol? I'm going to reload again. I guess I can't hear. Now watch, I'm going to reload. There's a symbol on the cartridge that we inserted. It's pretty neat. Look. Oh, it's like a bumblebee. <laughs> or a wasp or something. Good job, team. Let's move on. Oh, let's look at this vending machine first. Uh, let's see. They're selling no weaponry. Uh, some armor. Pretty, well, I don't know. Some of it's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. It's pristine. I mean, look at the difference between these two. The only difference between this one and this one is that this one's pristine. So, there's no sense in me buying it. Alright. Um, I thought there were three enemies in here. Oh, oh, somehow we got this guy too. That's right, he ran over here, didn't he? Residents here. I think we're safe now. I don't think anybody's left alive in here. We'll just stand up, walk around, stretch our back a little bit, stretch our legs. Another resident lying here. Well. Oh. Don't want to miss that. So the Purpleberry Crunch... I mean, why did I say that? The Sweetheart Cake is right here. Ursat's Sweetheart Cake. Uh, cartridges, cartridges, energy cells. But, oddly enough, that says Bumblebee on it, but that's not the same symbol we saw on the weapon. I really hate it when they whisper in my ear like that. I just don't like it at all, man. I don't like it one bit. Okay, let's look at this terminal first. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is a point of sale interface. Authorized users Cecil McClure, Ira Boyd, error unable to establish connection to Rizzo Inc. monetary processing. This terminal is now in its default log and message viewing mode. Uh, February 4th, 2344. Law, help me help us all. I saw one. Frothing at the mouth, barely able to string a word or two together. Walking at me as if to devour me whole. Zora was right. There are monsters here. We need to get out if we want to live. The next day. Cecil, you aren't insane. They were people once. I don't know what they are now. Zora. Hmm. Are they saying that marauders aren't really people anymore? Is that what they're trying to say? That uh, they got, have gone crazy or something? I never really thought about it before. March 11th. Cecil, these crazy assholes don't know how to use a keypad. I took one from my clinic office and installed it on the bridge gate. 2613. Be safe, Zora. Hmm, okay. That was uh, good information, I feel like. Uh, oh, here's a little bottle of something here just for us to drink later. And here is the Sweetheart Cake. Alright, we picked it up. We found the Sweetheart Cakes. And now we need to give Parvati the food. Give Parvati the food. Now that you've squared away the fine dining portion of Parvati's big date, you should let her know. I'd be happy to do that. It was suggested in the comments that I travel with a different couple. I've been traveling with these two for quite a while. And um, if you travel with different people, maybe you'll get different dialogue options. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm glad, though, that I did have Ellie in the last episode. Because remember, there was an option um, to do something uh, doctor related. Was that in the last episode? I don't remember which episode it was. But remember... I think it was the whole using the gas to uh, knock out the mantisaurs. Um, Ellie knew how to do that, and I'm assuming it's because she's a doctor. If I was traveling with, like, uh, Max, I don't think we would have had that option. Oh, man, this, the upstairs closed. is closed. Too bad. Well, let's see if there's any more to explore here in this part of Cascadia before we move on. 
Look at that. That is uh, quite a nice scene they've set up there, right? You got a dead body here, a dead scientist. And then they got these big scratch marks here, claw marks from a raptor or something like that and some blood. That's nice, nicely set up. Nothing there for us. Nothing back there. Evicted. That walkway makes me think that we could get on top of one of these buildings. Will that burn me? Yep. <laughs> There's one way to find out. <laughs> Walk right into it. It's pretty neat. So we've been here already. Um, from the outside. Interesting that that's still making a sound, but... We uh, came from that direction a couple episodes ago. Uh, we killed a bunch of uh, marauders that were hanging out out here. And I may have I may have actually climbed up here last time, did I? I don't recall. Oh, there is a ladder there, okay. Oh, somebody had like a little sleeping bag up here. Rizzo's Cascadia. Rizzo's Purpleberry Lunch. There's always time for Purpleberry Lunch. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Alright, girls. Down we go. Just looking around to see if there's anything else to see, anything else to loot. <laughs> Another way in. Let's climb this ladder. There's a little stool up here. But, uh, oh, there's a little bin. Aw, oh, man, an empty bin. Golly. Oh, look at this. Sure enough. Little bin here. Little seat. The lighting's real pretty right now. Kind of that golden hour look going on. Well, um, let's go back over to this building and climb this ladder. Huh. And, um, I oh mean, a bunch of residents lying around out here. Oh my. I guess I didn't walk over here and see all these dead people. Sad. It's sad. They were just residents. They were just hanging out. So that code that we re just read and that note, is there like going to be a gate on the other side of the bridge that we need to get through? I don't know. We're going to find out though. I mean, we've already been over there to that side. Oh, I need to go up there. Uh, we could go in this way. Uh, I've already been to that side of Cascadia, but I do want to walk on the bridge and check it out. Um, okay, yeah, we go in here. We go up here. And then we run around here. I don't... Let's see, what's... Oh, Parvati's over there. That's where our ship is. I don't think that there's anything else in Cascadia that we want to do. That'll take us to Scylla. That takes us back to Parvati. Uh, this... Oh, okay. Oh, we need to go back to Hiram. That's right. We need to go back to him. Uh, this one, uh, we need to go back to that gunship that crash landed. This is uh, ground uh, groundbreaker. Scylla. Uh, we need to return to Ash. He's here on Monarch. We need to return to Fallbrook, and we need to get that from Phineas. And then this one is um, also Phineas. Okay. So nothing else uh, for us to do in Cascadia itself, I don't believe. Okay. Cool. Huh. If 
we wanted to. I guess we could walk all the way around this perimeter here. And uh, see what there is to see. I'm going to say that I've been down there. That bin looks like it's been looted. Uh, that's a little fire down there. Okay, we can't walk all the way around it. I mean, I guess if I was really good at jumping, I could maybe jump on that. Or maybe just even walk on it. All right. I mean, pfft, the game will let me go there. I'm going to go there. So I don't know if we're, this is even worth doing, but um, we're going to do it. Because it's fun. It's fun to explore. I could jump over there maybe from here. Get on top of that building. I don't think there's any reason to do it though. It's awfully quiet out there. You know why? Because I killed everything. It's all dead. Okay. We'll just, just walk around here. We'll just see if there's anything cool. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to make it much further because the wall's broken over there. Oh, gosh. Oh, geez. There was an invisible wall there. <laughs> the game's like, uh, no. You're not going to go this way. That's a shame. Okay. Back here we go. Back here we go. I could just make this jump. I can. I can jump pretty far. Bet you there's another invisible wall there. Yep, there is. All right, let's climb down this <clears throat> ladder. Excuse me. It's pretty cool looking. I don't see any baddies. Oh, or did I speak too soon? There is a mechanical sentry over there. Oh, more than one. Uh, I should probably be using a different type of weaponry, but... I'll be alright. You want some of this, dude? He's just standing there. Why does my stomach hurt? I like to blow things up, what can I say? Let's see if there's anything over here. Ooh, look, look at this, there's like a little room here. It's kind of fun. Ooh, let's pick this. Piecemeal mining helmet. <laughs> Marauder helmet, this helmet is made up of pieces of at least four other Hephaestus mining helmets, plus parts of a mummy. Okay, that pistol just we picked that we just picked up was a Mark II, level sixteen, but it's still a pistol. Not too interested in it. I like that neon purple lighting up there. I like it a lot. It doesn't look like there's anywhere for us to go over here. I just like to check, you know. You understand. So that is so cool looking. So cool looking. I mean, it's just kind of down there with no explanation as to what it is. I wonder if that's the secret lab down there. Because remember, we entered the secret lab way over here. And when we came out, we were on that side. So I guess that's the secret lab. Although I don't really, from here, I don't see um, a walkway from like this part of the thing to that side or the other side, if that makes any sense. It would have been really cool if there was like a window or something in the lab and we could have looked out and seen that electricity or whatever it is, but that is really neat looking. Pretty cool, man. It's just really interesting to me that it's down there without any explanation. I mean, 
At least not that I have seen. Very cool. I mean, I guess some kind of power generation thing? I don't know. Sure is neat. All right, let's take this uh, bridge. It almost looks like a drawbridge, kind of. I can't imagine why it would be. There's a body here. A couple bodies. What happened here? Another resident. That is really cool. Oh, that's our ship up there. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what I was looking at. Another body here. Oh, jeepers creepers. Look what I see. Watch out. Um, why don't you go stand over there? I don't want you to get hit by that. Be right there. I'm so thoughtful. Hmm. Interesting. Huh, what is that thing? Is that an elevator? It looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, it looks like an elevator. Well, this just got really neat. What is this place? What the... Wait, okay, I was gonna say, hey, wait a second, he had something on him a second ago. No, it's this right here. Uh, yes, I saw that terminal there. I will go back in just a moment. This door is sealed. So that gate code that we saw on that note, I don't know where the gate is. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that elevator that we saw is going to take us down to that, maybe? This is exciting, and sure enough, there are windows there. Oh, this is cool. Maybe we'll get an explanation of what that is down there. This is very exciting. Alright. This is cool, man. Cascadia sign's about ready to fall on your head. What's going on down there? Just these, uh... Things floating up. <laughs> this is really neat. Okay. Let's go over here, man. Let's look at this terminal and this uh, elevator thing. This is really cool. Armor parts, bypass shunt. Mm. Welcome to Rizzo's gate control system. Uh, chasm generators, 32% capacity. Please select an option. Open Northern gate, open Southern gate. Interesting. So this is how we open those gates. I'm not gonna open them just yet. Oh, jeepers. I didn't back away quick enough. I'm all woozy now. Oh, let's grind this down, man. This is neat. Don't look at me like that. Why are you looking at me like that? At least she's not looking at me all weird. She's like all in a daze. She always looks like she's stoned, man. This is neat. Cascadia Bridge safe house discovered. Hmm. Wrapped it on meat. Oh, look at all these mag picks down here, man. It's a sissy pig. <laughs> There's a sissy pig down here, man. I'm going to be really upset if I can't get in this door. Oh, there's enemies in here. Quite a few of them, even. I can take a hint. Mm, can you? Yes, we can get in here. Oh, golly gee, I'm excited. Let's reload this thing. Let's save it. Just in case something terrible happens here, man. Get a nice view of those chasm generators there. Oh, it's a mechanical sentry. 
Okay, well, let's switch over to our shocky weapon. What do I think? Is that thing alive? I think that thing's alive. It's a woolly cow. It is alive. <laughs> what? Okay, are these sentries going to be hostile? A woolly cow? What in the world? Oh, look at the skeleton. Hey, dude, how's it going? Can we can we be friends? Will you will you be my friend? Will you be my friend? I'm really, I'm really in the need of some friends. Let me put my weapon away. Look, I mean no harm. Look, look, I, I want to be your friend. Okay. Hi, woolly cow. All right, this is just weird. <laughs> uh, the woolly cow is uh, actually showing up as an enemy on my, um, my compass, even though he's showing up as yellow on my reticule, or however you say that word. Reticle? Reticule? I don't know. Oh, who's this guy? It's Herbert. Whoa, he's showing up as an enemy, too. What the... What's going on here? Herbert. Gosh, did we see mention of Herbert earlier? Man, I can't remember. Hey, Herbert. Can we be friends? I hope we can be friends. Oh, Herbert. Oh, man. Can't we be friends? Oh, I can't be friends with Herbert. <laughs> Look, it's a food service mechanical, oh, man. Rizzo Inc. Personal Equipment. This terminal is the sole property of Buckwalter H. I have to think that H stands for Herbert. Access by any person other than Buckwalter Buck H is unauthorized. Consult your Rizzo employee handbook for the fines corresponding to the unauthorized access of personal use terminals. Uh, here, oh, there's an H Buckwalter and a D Buckwalter here. We're just going buck wild down here. <laughs> yeah. Available entries. Preparation. Dearest Margaret, I fear that when you wake, you'll think I've abandoned you like Rizzo has. I assure you of the opposite. I have commenced preparations to ensure you and Herbert survive until you are both rescued. Hmm, okay. Well, I assumed that... Um, this was Herbert's, but um, unless Herbert refers to himself as Herbert, this is not Herbert, right? Because he mentions Herbert. As for myself, I fear the worst. I will make every attempt to survive the coming months, but the bites I suffered while fleeing from the Raptodons show no signs of healing. I can only hope that you wake before I pass, but in the worst case, know that I love you both. Yours now and well after my atoms have been consigned to the ether, Howard. So I guess Howard and Margaret are Herbert's parents? What do you think? Rationing. Dearest Margaret, our quarters here may be tiny, but Herbert continues to investigate its every nook and cranny with utter delight. I am pleased to report that he shows no signs of distress following our sojourn into this humble new home. I have brought with me everything I can take from the surface. Our ex-colleagues continue to try and live above ground, though they have barred the north gate from the encroaching raptodons. I don't know why I said that like that. They remain unaware as to the existence of this hideaway, and I aim to keep it so. If they found my store of food, they'd surely seek to divide it amongst themselves. Recalling my emergency training, though it was years ago, I have managed to secure intubation to sustain you while you sleep so peacefully. Sorry, you're hearing me touching the microphone. I'm trying to get my headphones to work right. There we go. So Margaret is asleep or knocked out or unconscious or in a coma or something. Oh, this one's called Engineering a Mother. Dearest Margaret... I hope you will not take offense should you one day wake to find an auto mechanical preparing Herbert's meals or adjusting your intake tubes. It has taken quite an effort and many failures to which my new Burns can attest to engineer an auto mechanical to take care of any person 
much less one infant and one comatose woman. Ah, she is in a coma. With any luck, should the infection in my leg continue to grow, these machines will handily replace my fatherly duties and maintain the loving care required to raise Herbert and nurse you back to health. To my surprise, the cooking model is even capable of limited tutoring services. Yours now and well after my atoms have been consigned to the ether, Howard. And one more note from Howard called Underwear. Dearest Margaret, the auto mechanicals are working splendidly. Their fervor reminds me of my youth years ago before I became the exhausted husk I am today. Part of me is thankful that you cannot see me in such a state, with one useless leg and ominous streaks of black racing along my veins. I will leave you with a word of advice. In the absence of proper undergarments, I have taught the auto mechanicals to wash tanned raptodon hides for reuse. With the last vestiges of my strength, I collected a few from the surface. Should you wake, I beg you, do not go up there. Remain here until rescued. Our colleagues have perished, and only monsters now remain. Yours now and well after my atoms have been consigned to the ether, Howard. So he decided he it was important that he tell her about his undergarments? Okay. Well, here are some... Uh, Journal entries from D. Buckwalter. So who the heck is D. Buckwalter? I know of two H. Buckwalters, Herbert and Howard. I know of an M. Buckwalt Buckwalter, Margaret. So who the heck is D. Buckwalter? Letters. Uh, Cordy, blah, blah, blah. Father insists I practice my letters, so here we are. Okay. Rizzo. Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch Ready to Eat, Tripicali Flakes Purple Berry Flavored Power Nuggets, Rizzo's Purple Berry Lunch Non-Organic Purple Berries Crackers Cheese Pea Free Nuts. There's always time for Purple Berry Lunch. New, net weight, net weight 3 2 ounces 90 grams. Rizzo's Knock You Out, something 76 milk chocolate with caramel pea free nuts. It's time for a Kyo. Okay, I guess he's just learning to type Scythe. Today, Father finally let me use the candy cane. It is called a scythe. He showed me how to be safe so I do not burn myself. Maybe I can use it to capture another woolly friend and make him proud. Father. Howard was not moving this morning. His tummy is very still and he is very quiet like Mother was when Howard took her tubes out and cried all night. I think White Hat is my father now. I don't know if it is able to be proud, but I will try my best. Who who are these people, Wyatt? So, um, I guess Fa Howard is his father. I don't know why he's referring to him as Howard here, but father here. Access auto mechanical controls. Um, we could disable security protocols. We can enable them. Let's disable them, maybe. Auto mechanicals disabled. Okay, they're disabled, so they're not going to attack me now. I don't know what Herbert's going to do. It's time to hit F5 again. So, um, this is either Herbert or Margaret over here. Right? I guess. I don't know why this person's sitting on the floor over here. So <laughs> bizarre. Wooly cow just sitting there. Um, and then you can see over there, there's another body. I don't know if that's uh, Howard or Margaret. So is this guy going to be hostile towards me? I hope not, man. I want to try to talk to him. But I mean, it's acting like he's going to be hostile towards me. And I'm not sure why he would be. Aside from the fact that I am kind of invading his home. It's showing you as an, as, a, as an enemy. I could try to pick his pocket if I wanted to. And I did. Sugar Ops Armor and The Candy Cane. Huh. So Sugar Ops Armor is Rizzo Corporate Armor 
customized to protect their elite sugar ops team. I'm going to take it from him. I should have taken it off of his body, but it didn't. The Candy Cane by Aramid Ballistics, a scythe for the discerning Reaper. So he shouldn't have a weapon on him now either. Um, in the note that we read, he said, I guess White Hat is my father now. Well, there's White Hat, White Hat right there. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. I want to be your friend. No, I want to be friends with you. No, no. Why are you attacking me? I got this. My kind of I'm sorry, Herbert, but you really Not gave bad. me no choice. I mean, I feel really bad about it. Herbert, I really wanted to be your friend. Oh no! Where are you going, Herbert? <laughs> He's chasing Ellie. <laughs> oh. I want to be your friend! Oh well, I guess we can't be friends now. Well, that sucked. I do not understand that at all. Why did he why did he have to be hostile? And why was he still wearing his armor and still had the candy cane when I pickpocketed him and <laughs> took it from him? That doesn't make any sense. None of this makes sense. Well, I don't know why he had to be hostile. I'm going to go online after this and see if there's any way I could have been friends with him. I just wanted to make a friend. I would have given him a uh, right home on my ship. So this is, oh gosh, I'll dissect it over there. <laughs> we could sleep there next to the bones. Well, that made little to no sense. At least the terminal was there to explain to us who he was and why he was here. But I do not understand why we could not be friends with him. Why he was immediately hostile. Hello, food service mechanical. Guess we can't talk to him either. Well, I mean, at least we disabled the robots. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> look at all the purple berry crunch. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, okay, that uh, ends the sad story of Herbert, of the Buck Walters. And uh, now I'm gonna kill the woolly cow. <laughs> no, I'm not. But it's going to die down here anyway. It might be actually the more merciful thing to kill it. There's, it's got some food to last it a while. So there's a cool view of that thing. This chasm thingy. I thought that we were going to be able to interact with it. Because it said it was only at 32%. I thought maybe there was going to be some controls down here. That would allow us to increase the power or something. I don't know. But um, that is how that ends. Uh, we could jump over here. No, he can't. The game won't let me. Okay. Okay, game. Fine. Be that way. Will you let me go this way? No. All right, well. Nice knowing you, Herbert. That was sad. Okay. Let's uh, open us some gates. Open northern gate. Northern gate open. Eh, let's open the southern one too. Why not? Doesn't look like I can close them back. Once they're open, they're open. Cascadia is open for business. And I mean, this place is cleared out, right? We cleared this place out before. So I don't think that we have anything to worry about. I can really just walk over to our ship and get the hell out of here, I guess. Uh, but remember, there's this door that I cannot get through. <laughs> I want to rely on you guys to remind me of this, because I want to come back here. If I ever make it to a hundred lockpick in this game, I want to come back and see what's on the other side of that door. I really do, man. Ugh. All right, let's, um... 
Let's go ahead and uh, change back to this quest here and go back and talk to Parvati on the good old unreliable. Been a while since we've been on the Unreliable, huh? Let's go. And? Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Really? Again? Dead go. center. Next round's on you. Shh, the captain's coming. Put your gun away. <laughs> Act casual. Oh, uh, um, yes. This'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep. Ain't no call for a closer inspection by anybody. <laughs> um, I don't care if you guys shoot weapons. Doesn't bother me none. Hey, Cap. Hey, how's it going, Nyoka? So, uh, you getting along with the crew? Parvati showed me how to properly grease the magazine release on one of my firearms. She's a smart one, you know. I, I do know that. Opal was quiet in the same way. She'd hang back, out of sight, then all of a sudden pop in with a bit of wisdom out of nowhere. Shit. Look at me dredging up bygone days. Forget I said anything. All right. Um, I'm not pushy. Talk when you're ready. I will. Okay. Hey, what's up? Something on your mind? Oh, I just wanted to talk to you. Parvati, I've got something for you. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste. But I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. Sure thing, Parv. Uh, let's see. You're welcome. Shouldn't you get ready for June Lay now? Or I hope we got enough that everyone can get a taste or whatever. Well, you're welcome. Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. Oh no, now what? I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got <laughs> nothing nice to wear, Captain. <laughs> uh, let's see here. You have anything particular in mind or perception? Do you really need to do all this, or are you putting off the date? Interesting. Are you funny, sure? I'm afraid if I say this one, I won't get to go on the quest to get her something. <laughs> uh, well, you got anything in mind? I don't have a head for fashion, and I can't really picture myself in something clean and pretty. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium, Jollikers Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. Hmm, let's see. All right. Uh, we'll swing by when we can, or, <laughs> you know, we can't get into Byzantium, right? Or we're not going to Byzantium for clothes, Parv Parvati. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. Uh, sure, we'll swing by when we can. I don't know. I want to say this. Because I, I, I don't think we can get into Byzantium. Well, not today, no. But maybe someday. I know this is all a little crazy, Captain. But I think it's got to be this place. I saw the lady who runs it on Aetherwave. And, well, she made everybody she dressed feel better. Confident. All right. Well, we'll swing by when we can. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> I know I've been asking a lot, but you help me out every time. You're the best. Yeah, I am. Well, we're supposed to now find some fancy clothes for our good friend Parvati. Find Parvati fancy clothes. Parvati is feeling self-conscious about her attire. Help her find something with a little more flair at Celeste Jolicoeur's haberdashery in Byzantium. Well... Uh, what's up with Felix up here? I guess he can level up. I guess it's been so long since I travel with these guys that they can level up. We'll do that in the next episode. I'm going to end this one here, hang out with these guys a little bit. And when we come back next time, we'll probably walk around the ship, check in with our, um, our, uh, companions here. And, uh, then we'll head back out to Monarch, uh, cause there's still stuff left for us to do here. So more stuff on monarch isn't that exciting i am still having fun playing this game i hope you're having fun watching uh if you are why don't you let me know maybe leave me a like or a comment thanks for watching hope to see you again in the next episode